disciples came to him, I'll have up to saying, and so they're saying, declared us the parable of the tares of the field. I'll skip back then to earlier in Matthew, verse 10. And the disciples came and said to him, Why speak you to them in parables? And he'll respond with the explanation of the first parable, the sower. Then I'll just move right into the next explanation of the tares. So that he's saying the parables all at the same time, sends them all away once, and then explains them all at the same time when they're alone. It makes perfect sense to do it this way. I think I can put a little bit more, then Jesus sent the multitudes away and went into the house. Then I'll skip to another paragraph. And the disciples came and asked him, and then he explains. Yeah. Then Jesus sent the multitudes away. And when they were alone, Mark has it a little out of order. It first mentions that they were alone. Verse 34, Mark 4. When they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And in the next verse, And the same day when the evening was come, he said to them, Let us pass over to the other side. Next verse. And when they had sent away the multitude. I don't understand why it does it like that, unless it really was separate days. But these clues, the same day, the evening was come. He said, let's pass over. The same day as what? The same day as the explanation. Which Matthew implies was the same day as the stuff that happened earlier. His family coming and then he gives the parable of the sower. So I am going to take this section of verse 36. When they had sent away the multitude. I'm going to put that earlier to this very next verse in Matthew. Then Jesus sent the multitudes away. Could it be Jesus through his disciples sent them away? Or Jesus could tell them all to go away and then his disciples continues and finishes and they help him. It would work. I just have to figure out how to word it. Then Jesus sent the multitude away. And when they had sent away the multitude. No, I can't have it like that. Then Jesus. Maybe I could say then when Jesus and they sent away from both the multitude. That'd be kind of crazy. Then when Jesus and they had sent away the multitude. Or then when they and Jesus had sent away the multitude. When Jesus and they had sent away the multitude. No, you know what? I think I can just put they because that could imply that Jesus is included in that group of them sending them away. There have been many times where when I've chosen between a verse saying, he did this, he went here, I put in the name Jesus. But here I think I want to leave it out and just put they, because I don't know how else to have it fit. They sent away the multitude, Jesus sent away the multitude. Like I said earlier, Jesus could have done it through them or with them, either way, it's still they. They fits. And it can include Jesus. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave out the name of Jesus and say, then they. You know what? I'll have then when they had sent away the multitude instead of then Jesus sent the multitudes away so oh the multitude away or away the multitude all those three words are there so I don't have to worry about picking they're all there there's just a few added words in mark when had yeah it'll fit I'm gonna start with, instead of and I'll say then because now this is a change in activity so then is only from Matthew. Then. Now when is only from Mark. They. Instead of Jesus. They can include Jesus if you consider the context. Or if you really want to go back and read Matthew and say, Jesus sent them away. Then when they had sent is both. Matthew says, and went into the house. 
it's going to be a few things happen in close succession. When they had sent the multitudes away and went into the house and then from Mark and when they were alone. So this is just Matthew. They went into the house and went into the house. I just had a thought. I can't say then when they had sent the multitude away, Jesus went into the house because even though it sort of fits, Mark says they, including Jesus, sent the multitudes away, then went into the house, meaning that all of them went into the house, not just Jesus. Like, I can't have it this way because then it seems on the surface that Jesus is preaching, then without mention or word from Jesus, his disciples sends everyone away and Jesus goes into his house by himself. That's what it looks like, and I don't want it to look like that. So I'm going to switch the they and Jesus. So then when Jesus had sent the multitude away, they went into the house. They meaning all of them. I'm saying Jesus sent the multitude away and they, now it would be combining Jesus and they, went into the house. Then when Jesus sent the multitude away, they went into the house. 